So the other day I was writing an essay in Microsoft Word when I realized something crazy. I wasn't in Microsoft Word at all. Haha, <laughs> you guys just got pranked so hard. Yeah, you silly billies probably thought I was in Word, didn't you? Well, now we actually have a video to make, so let me show you guys how to do this. Real quick though, this video is proudly sponsored by BlenderKit. So BlenderKit is a subscription-based 3D website that gives you access to so many add-ons for Blender. It's insane. You get 32,000 models, 11,000 materials, 2,000 HDRIs, 2,000 brushes. So if you're ever trying to make a scene or a render for a commission, or you're just trying to make some background props for a game, this website is the place to be. Getting Blender Kit makes you a faster modeler, and it will make it so much easier to do commissions and renders. If you need like a quick background prop, you don't have to be like, oh, I gotta go make this background prop for the next 30 minutes. No, you can just focus on the main parts of the scene and just find any random background prop you want from Blender Kit. And I've been told that if you click my link in the description, you guys get 10% off your subscription. So go buy Blender Kit if you want to save yourself hours and hours of modeling time. All right, on to the video now. So first things first, just open up a new Blender viewport and now uh i mean i deleted everything already so make sure to do that and just press shift a but instead of going over to mesh go down to text right here and you can see this already does like 90 percent of what we're trying to do then with the text selected obviously go into edit mode and now you can just backspace and start typing on it like normal uh i will type out just anything blender why not just so we can work with it so now back into object mode you're going to want to right click and hit convert to mesh now obviously don't do this like if you're still trying to modify the text only convert it to a mesh if it's like set in stone this is what you want your little text box to say so yeah now just right click and convert to mesh and now what this is going to do is now blender recognizes this object as a mesh instead of just text so now if you go back into edit mode you can see if you try to select it you can't like type or anything it's just faces in a mesh and this is exactly what we want so hit rx and 90 real quick just to make that nice and straight now you can add like a solidify modifier to just thicken it up make it nice and wide oh yeah apply that that, I don't know, shade it smooth, subsurf modifier, crank that guy up, whatever you want. You can make it look really weird. But if you want to make it look really funky, you know, change up the fonts, make it like hollow and stuff like that, we got to go back a couple steps. So add another text in, tap into edit mode, make it say whatever you want. And now back in object mode, just click on this little icon to the right. It's like a lowercase a or something. And this thing is going to have all the text settings you could ever want. But keep in mind, this is before we're going to convert it to a mesh. So you can see Blender is still like thinks this is words and stuff. So let's mess with a couple of the settings down here. You can change the character spacing, obviously if you want them to be like really wide or really close together. Uh, you can change the word spacing if you've got multiple things. Line spacing as well if you've got multiple lines. You have some offsets as well, but this really only works if you got like a whole essay written out. Then there's font as well. If you click on this little file icon, you can see a whole list of just online downloaded fonts. You can't preview them, which kind of sucks, but just click on one that sounds cool. Stencil actually looks pretty sick. Once you're happy with the font, you can go to this geometry icon and you can change this offset option right here, which is going to really make your text all messed up. Yeah, be careful with this setting because you can make some huge changes to your mesh. You can also extrude it, which basically just replaces the role of the solidify modifier in this whole operation. And you can give it a great bevel as well if you want it to be like really thick for some reason. Now let's also change the fill mode to none. And you can see, oh, would you look at that? That's pretty dang cool. Yeah, you get like this neon sign look when you get rid of the fill it's super awesome because then you could also just duplicate this move it behind the original change this back to both and then i don't know turn the depth like way up then if you just mash these together you've got like a full-on neon sign it's super cool let's see you are going to be new material and emission you are going to be new material and black neon sign easy and of course if you really are happy with it you just convert them to mesh and join them together and blender treats the whole thing as one simple mesh and you can do whatever you want with it put it in a roblox game sell it online whatever i don't care so if we go back to this little fill button up here as well you can see there's a couple different options like you, you can have the front filled and then the back is just empty like that or you can have the reverse where oh, the back is filled and the front is empty you can create some weird looking signs with this tool so definitely do some experimenting with it and with this little sheer icon right here you can make it like crazy italic if you want to in either direction <laughs> you can also keyframe the sheer here press i on it scrub forward a ton make that all the way to the other side, press I again. That's so cool to watch. 
3D animation is probably one of the greatest like inventions of humanity. That's basically all the settings you got for text. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, but trust me, just with those you could make almost anything you want. A big part of it just comes from the font that you use. Let's pick a new one. So File Explorer and I don't know, Ver Verdan... <sighs> Verdinaz. That's all right. Vladimir. Oh, that's really cool. Here, I'm gonna change this back to both because it looks kind of weird right now. There we go. Times. Oh, it's nice and simple. I don't mind that. Then this is kind of wide, so let's just take that character spacing and turn that down a little bit. Convert to mesh, shade smooth, go into edit mode. You can see nice clean faces and you're all done. If you ever need like a sign in a game or just a little spot of text here and there on a mesh, this is exactly the way to do it. There is no way that is more efficient than this. Ian Hubert, this guy that makes his own visual effects movies, uses this to make all his own text signs. Think about that. This guy probably knows like 10 different 3D software programs. He could use any tool he wants to, and yet he picks this tool in Blender. Use this for text. Trust me. Well, I hope you all learned something today, and yeah, I guess I'll uh, see y'all later. And don't forget to buy Blender Kit.